so uh, I want to show you uh, how to solve the issue you know so you read the article so you get the idea so I want to show you how to actually solve this uh, duplicate content issue which happens as part of the blogging you know as you got the idea right now when you have a page uh, like this it falls as a page so Google thinks this is a page you know so it has and again and also now so in this one you are and if you click on this it's another page but also have the same content it's literally the same most of these blogs have this issue so how can you stop this and give the Google the sign that to not to uh, index those uh, pignated uh, the the page is very easy what I do I install the all-in-one SEO plugin right so if I go to the dashboard the same website you guys are the local is your secret so I have the all-in-one SEO plugin you can install that one you guys know that if you don't know you can watch the video of that page is your thing right and if you scroll down if you scroll down right so I'm gonna see what I'm doing so over here use no index right you know the categories we have to make no index the, the data archives or the archives you don't want it don't get a tag archives I don't want to increase tagger you know search page search page also could get this up uh, so I'm gonna you know, so for a page uh, I don't want to use no index for paginated pages post so you know that's what you do I don't want to put no follow for thing. I want no index, so it's not going to get indexed. Bam! It's done. All good. Very easy. That's the solution for for the for the duplicate content issue. I hope you got a good idea of that now. Very easy to do. Read the article, of course. Read the article by Moss, which is step by step. Uh, he explained on this article everything what you got to know. Right. And um, you get the idea about it. Don't get it leave because uh, that will devalue your content and it's gonna gonna uh, impact on your ranks to uh, fall through.